Oni of Ife expresses plans to get Sunday Boho free from custody. Hello, my wonderful people. The Oni of Ife and some other traditional monarchs in Yoruba land. Those who are honest, those who care about Chief Sunday Boho, what he has, what he means and what he does for the people are rising up and are, you know, doing what they can possibly to ensure that Sunday Bo is out of custody. If you are a rational thinking person and you bring yourself closely into all that has been going on with Chief Sunday Bo, you need not to be from the Southwest to understand that this man is being oppressed. I'll give you a little bit of background and at the end, we'll look at the analysis. Sunday Boho, for instance, need not to be in Nigeria. What do I mean by that? His wife and children are in Germany because she's a German citizen. And as such, due to the marriage bond, he can join his family legally, work there, do his business and what have you. But guess what? He chose his father's land. Despite all that is happening, occurring, going on. And he saw how his people were being oppressed and says, no, this must stop. And this is what he's been indicted by and for by the Nigerian government. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. His Royal Highness, Oni of Ife, expresses plans to get Sunday Boho free from custody. The Oni of Ife, Oba Adeyeye, has expressed regret over the detention of the Yoruba nation agitator, Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Igboho, in Bene Republic. In an interview with BBC, the monarch said the agitator rejected advice offered him by monarchs who were sent to dialogue with him. Oni narrated how, narrated that he met President Muhammad Buhari concerning Sunday Boho's matters, where the president was informed of the reason behind Igboho's agitation. In his reaction, Buhari was said to have said Igboho needs to be calm and patient while he asked monarchs in the Southwest to advise Sunday Igboho against the move that are lawless. The monarch who said Igboho has a just cause to fight whatever opinion he felt said he should have been more diplomatic, aligned with the people that the Yoruba nation agitation was a misled agenda by politicians. The only father said he had forgiven Igboho and already working to get him free from the detention in Bene Republic, while urging other Yoruba agitators to consider dialogue rather than get themselves into trouble. So this is what Oni has to say. Oni of Ife is saying that, well, he has forgiven Sunday Igboho, you know, at some point uh, during before Sunday Igboho's arrest, uh, some people were not happy with Yoruba monarchs and leaders, their disposition and their position towards all that was going on. People expected more, you see. People expected that they should be more, you know, uh, magnanimous and understand what the plight is. But again, Oni is saying he met with Buhari and part of their discussions and dialogues is that the people should be more patient. But I want to ask to what extent are you patient to? In Igogo, you saw what was going on. The guy, eh, the, the uh, Wakili, whatever his name was, that guy was killing people, kidnapping, to mention but a few, frustrating the life of the people who were, who were his host. Yeah, these were his host. These were people who welcomed him in gave him i mean if for instance they gave him a plot of land i don't know how he acquired that land because if you go to him today he will tell you the land belonged to him and he will fight you stand still so so sunday boho sending him out of your state the federal government felt 
Sunday Boho has done something wrong. But I want to ask a question. If you say Sunday Boho did something wrong or was engaging in unlawful activities, I will ask a question here. When Sunday Bo was raising the alarm, yes, to the governor of the state, to the federal government, because I mean, that's how it goes, yes. Is there not a local government chairman in that region? Is there not, uh, is there not a, a, what's it called now? Local government chairman, a counselor in that area where this very Fulani warlord was living and oppressing people? Was there not, you know, are these people not consigned? Have they not heard of the cry of the people? That the people have been oppressed by the very people they welcome in. That the people are doing this and that and that to them. You know, raping women and committing all forms of crimes and atrocities. When Sunday Bo, when they were raising the alarm, you know, Sunday Bo was talking about it. Nobody paid attention. It's as though there was even no police in the whole of Oyo State. The governor, nobody said anything. Everybody was silent and quiet until Sunday Boho rose up to the defense of the people. Should I tell you something? Do you know Sunday Boho rising up was a ray of hope to the people? Please investigate. The people were oppressed in their own land, yet everybody says, silence, be patient, pretend that nothing is happening. Yet people are being killed. You see what's going on in the southwest. Farmlands are being destroyed. People are being slaughtered in their farm. They say, be patient. I don't understand. I'm trying to really get it. So please be, I mean, I'm trying to understand what be patient means. Okay. In all of this, be patient. Why people are being killed? Why people are being molested? Why people are being, why all sorts of atrocities are going on? Be patient. So that's what I'm saying. So where did Sunday Bo really go wrong other than understanding the people cried to him, you see. He did not just wake up and was so arrogant and proud and say, you know what, I am the Sunday Bo, let me go there. The people sent a message to him. Remember what he did for them at Igboho. Remember his name is not Igboho. He was nicknamed Igboho because of the fight he fought for the people. So he was not fighting his fight to become the governor for your state or to gain prominence for himself. Leave us a comment, we'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you, have a good day. Bye for now.